Hi, it's Kyle from Bytewing Games, and today we're learning how to play Guns or Treasure. Guns or Treasure is a game for two to six players. It's designed by Bryce Brown and published by Castillo Games. The point of the game is to win, and you win by having the most points, or treasure. Treasure is earned by either attacking other players' ships and stealing their treasure, or retreating with your own ships and collecting that treasure. Let's take a look at the setup. Shuffle and randomly deal one captain card to each player. Each player can choose side A or B. For your first game, it may be best to play without the captain cards, just to keep things a little bit more simple. Shuffle and deal six ship cards to each player face down. The game is played over three phases. Phase one, ship building. In the ship building phase, each player will build 12 ship cards. From their hand of six cards, players will simultaneously select and lay three cards, building their ships. Each player will draw back up to six cards, continue laying and drawing three cards until all players have placed 12 ship cards. There are two ways to lay your ship cards. Number one, you can start a new ship by revealing the card, placing it face up, with the front of the ship showing. Or you can add to an existing boat by placing a card face down on top of the previous card in this manner. So the value of the first card is revealed, while all subsequent cards are kept concealed. At any point, you can look at the cards you've placed face down on your ships if you need that reminder. So what are the cards and what do they do? There are three types of cards, treasure, guns, and bombs. Treasure cards will give you points at the end of the game. Guns will help you while attacking or defending your ship. And bombs? Well, bombs blow up both ships involved in an attack. Once all players have placed their 12th ship card, discard all remaining cards. The player with the most revealed treasure will go first in phase two. If there is a tie, the player with the most individual treasure cards wins. If there's still a tie, eh, flip a coin. So on to phase two, marauding. During the marauding phase, you can either attack or retreat one of your ships. To attack, pick one of your own ships and one ship of another player. Both players reveal their ships. Whoever has a higher value of guns wins. Ties go to the attacker. The player who wins the attack earns the treasure from both ships. The next player clockwise can then either attack or retreat. To retreat, simply pick one of your ships and collect all the treasure from that ship, discarding any guns or bombs. However, on your first turn of the marauding phase, you must attack. What kind of pirate would you be if you just retreat and don't even attack once? So once all players have done their initial marauding attack, then players can choose to retreat on their second turn. So we know about guns and treasure, but what about bombs? If either ship that is involved in an attack has a bomb, both ships are destroyed. Kablooey! Discard all cards from both ships. Continue attacking or retreating in a clockwise manner until all players are out of ships. And that brings us to phase three, scoring. The player with the highest value in treasure wins. In the case of a tie, the player who went first during the marauding phase wins. And now you know how to play guns or treasure. There are a few optional variants, some of which I highly recommend. I think they're a ton of fun. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Until next time.